Hi everyone, Ned here from Drive EV, and today we are looking at a 40 kilowatt hour Leaf that has come in with a service EV warning and an isolation fault in Leaf Spy. So if you have a look on the dash, you will be able to see the EV service warning light and we'll also put in a little screenshot of uh, the Leaf Spy report and the error that says that there's an isolation fault. So the EV service fault, what that actually means is that the uh, car's got an isolation error, which is what Leaf Spy has said. And what that means is that inside the battery that's underneath the car, the high voltage battery, there are a number of modules and it can sense that one of those modules is likely leaking and is touching the case, which is making it so that the battery is no longer isolated, which is the isolation fault. Um, so we can quite easily confirm that by doing a quick measurement with the multimeter inside and we'll show you how to do that next. So we're inside the car now and I just want to remind everyone that High voltage gloves, are uh, you definitely have to be wearing those, especially when you're working on a car that's got a known fault because it's, uh, it's got a lot of safety features built in, but one of them is clearly broken, so we've got to take caution. So here we have the service plug removed out of the leaf, and that is going to allow us to be able to measure two points of the battery internally, and we're going to measure between one point and ground, and then the other point and ground to see if any of them have got a standing voltage on them or not. So we measure there, and you can see there's some volts, but they are slowly dropping away, which indicates that it is still isolated. And if we click on the, go to the other side, we measure 72.62 volts and it's rock solid, not moving. So at about 72 volts in that part of the pack, which is the rear stack, I believe, at that point, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's shorter to ground somewhere, so we'll be pulling the battery out and we'll be having a look and see where that fault is. This is the service EV no fault warning, which is the big nice red box to show you that we have not, no power, the car is not gonna go anywhere, uh, versus before it was the yellow border and it was just a, a, an info warning to let you know that on the next drive, we're not gonna be able to drive. So the car finds, detects the fault and it lets you know that, hey, as soon as you stop me, we're not gonna go again, so please drive me somewhere sensible and pull over and stop. Okay. So now we are under the car with the panels removed so we can see the battery. So this is the battery here. There's some high voltage connections over here that we'll be removing with the high voltage gloves in a minute. Then there's a few bolts around the edges and some brackets on the back that are going to hold this battery in. So we'll be pulling that out next and then we'll be able to open it up and have a look. Big bolt. Big bolt. Jaffa orange bits. Rolling. Now we shall remove. What is it there? Luckily at Drive EV we've got a couple of nice little tools that make our life a little bit easier. Like this pallet lift that we're going to use to support the battery while we undo the last fasteners. And then we can lower it out and pull it right out of the car. And now we can effortlessly and safely remove the battery out of the car. But we've got the pack out and we've cut the whole thing loose, the lid's glued on, so we've cut the, all the glue loose and now ready to lift the battery off. At this point you want to make sure that there's uh, no small children around that can jump in and start licking things because at this point it starts getting real spicy.
the inside of a Nissan Leaf Pack, which is one of the cleanest places you'll likely ever see, um, if you do get to see it. Uh, it's fully sealed so that nothing can get in and out, which means that it's as clean as it left the factory and it would have been done in a nice clean room. So from here we can go and figure out exactly where the fault is located inside the pack and see which of the modules is at fault and start pulling them out and seeing what's going on. So we had a quick look at it and uh, it is the rear stack and it's that module over there that's leaking. You can calculate it out by measuring the voltage to the ground and dividing it by the cell voltage which is about 3.5 on this low state of charge pack. So we'll have to remove this whole rear stack out and they're bolted together under pressure so we'll have to remove those bolts, slide the module out that we want to replace and put a fresh one back in. Uh, the fresh one's being discharged just in the office because it was a at storage voltage and this one is at 9% state of charge because I've only charged with this isolation fault so it's very low so we want to replace this, put the new module in it and put it back in. We've pulled the rear stack out of the car and we've actually removed the leaky module, which is this one here. And I'd just like to show you that it is leaky, goo leaking out, and that was sort of shorting out onto the case. And that was what was causing our isolation issue. So we've replaced it with another module that we've balanced up to be the same voltage as all of these other cells. And we're just bolting it back up together now and then it'll go back in the pack. So we've put the whole rear stack back in the car, hooked everything up, talked everything down, and I do have to give a shout out to these fully isolated tools. They're real good for working on these high voltage batteries. Um, but yeah, it's all back together. We're gonna go and glue the lid back on, give it a pressure test, and then it's ready to go back into the car. And just like that, the uh, battery's back in, the car's ready to go. We're just going to take this over to the DC charger and charge it all the way up because it's quite low and give it a full cycle and make sure that everything's happy and we'll uh, give it back to the customer and they can enjoy their leaf again. So if your leaf's got any issues like this one did or any other high voltage issues, uh, we can sort them out here at Drive EV. So give us a call at 0800 Drive EV if your leaf does have any issues and we'll help you out. And that's the story on a broken leaf. And that's the story on a broken leaf.